هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti ebne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. No, no, no. That's right. Just two days left for Vida because it's Vida 28. Why? It's April 28th and it's time, 2012, and it's time for Comma Sex. Woo! We give a big cheer for that. I'm trying to adjust the volume here and get it right so it's not too loud. The other ones, uh, <laughs> I had it set down low, but for some reason it was just going way off the charts and we get a lot of uh, uh, buzz and feedback here. Uh, part of the buzz is from the fluorescent lights that are overhead uh, causing that buzz, but uh, let's see if the new adjustments will uh, make a difference. Anyways, uh, to start off, it's uh, uh, Monsieur Khan, Christos Anesti, and the birthdays. Yep, yeah, it's my dad's birthdays. Well, I want to wish you a happy birthday, Dad. Yeah, everybody's got a birthday. <laughs> uh, anyways, on to, uh, on to um, the matters at hand, the comments X, uh, and the goings on of my daily life. Well, uh, I'm working on getting a new camera into operation. I'm doing some testing with. Uh, it's one of my older cameras, actually. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not widescreen, and I want to film in widescreen, seven, uh, 720p widescreen, uh, the uh, the HD thing. So what has to happen, and I, ha I have to do some cropping with it. So I have to do test shots. Uh, bring it on to the editor, crop it, and see what it looks like, so I get an idea of how to frame things. Uh, because it's important when you're doing when you're doing camera work when you're doing filming that uh, your shots the way things are laid out that they lay out pretty well. Uh, you want sort of a, a good composition of height and low. You know you, you you have to sort of know where you are to filter so you don't cut your head off. You don't you know don't, you're not seeing up to here. You know it, sometimes you see pictures people are cut up off to here or they're they're cut off right below the chin. You know, there's not enough room in the in the frame for their face. Now, so what I want to do is I want to uh, do some test shots uh, to see uh, exactly how to get things working. I'm still working on uh, doing ambient room lighting. Uh, be, that's basically uh, lighting in the room uh, uh, that that you know that that you can that you can uh, you don't have to have any special lights. Uh, I might see if I could fix this uh, laptop up. Once, once I can get the cropping done properly on the camera, I might see if I could fix this laptop and the web camera here uh, to do a better job. Right now, the web camera is not doing that good of a job. Uh, the software that seems to come with it doesn't seem to work too well. Uh, what I am looking, what I am looking into is uh, w just as with my desktop, the screencasts. Uh, I was using FF. FFmpeg. Uh, I'm, I'm looking into, I think I'll do that, the FFmpeg, with the, uh, with the web camera as well, do it from the command line, uh, rather than go through a GUI, because this really seems, and the thing is, you don't need to see yourself, you don't really need, you don't need to see yourself on the screen, you know, all, all, as long as that, that blue light goes on, uh, beside the, uh, beside the, uh, the, the camera, uh, you know the camera's on. You know the cam you, that you're talking. So it's not really an issue to have um, the uh, a, a GUI on it. So you could, if you can do something from the command line and get uh, something as good a quality or actually better quality, like like like, like if you can get 720p out of it, uh, then that would be a good thing. So basically, the way I would do 720p because this camera isn't 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 widescreen. This is uh, your standard definition. Um, it's 480 by six by 680, I think it is. I think, yeah, I think that's the no. It's uh, 480 by 
six forty. That's that's the uh, that's the uh, the uh, resolution. Um, so it's not widescreen. What I'd have to do is I'd have to film it in the uh, standard definition, crop it, and then uh, upgrade it to seven twenty p. And that's that, that, that's what it, that's uh, the screencast that's actually shot at a higher resolution. It's f shot at full. The screencast is shot at full 1080p, and then and then downgraded to 720p, uh, because the set the, the 1080p file is just too large. Well, it would have just been too large, and so it's it would it's better like this to do it to do it that way. So, uh, still getting HD, still good quality for YouTube. Uh, I don't really see any need right now to go up to the full, the full 1080p on YouTube uh, until I get all of the. If, if your filming is beautiful and gorgeous and there's a lot of detail that needs to be seen and people have don't have the caps on the internet anymore like if you're if you're is it, is it, let's say that you have a film that's beautiful and gorgeous but people have a cap on their internet the, 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 the data the amount of data they can bring down and then they have to pay extra for it you know what they're doing you know how, how, the, how the different internet companies are doing it they're, and then they're throttling the service well there's no point in having 1080p full HD if that's going to happen, I mean that's that, that, I mean this is particularly why uh, uh, you know this is going on is that you've got a closed internet and a lot of the the content providers like like uh, Warner like the movie companies and the major media companies they own the backbone of the internet they own a they are some of the major ISPs and they're doing a lot of wrong why because they don't want Google and, and YouTube to compete with them this is the same thing Netflix Netflix is you know try to set up on its own and they can continually hack the way at it and that's sort of you know, they're going to do the same thing to Google you know once you run into the media giants they're going to try their best to knock off everybody everybody else so uh, for now uh, 720p is where it's at uh, 1080 we haven't reached the, uh, the the data transmission point of 1080p yet so I'm staying at 720p. Uh, this sort of brings me up to I'm going to be fixing up my Cybernetics Institute and bringing out a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, the Cybernetics Institute is where I do all my computer science, and the primary goal of the Cybernetics Institute is to build something like uh, a, a, an Android like data. So the first step into that is Cyborg Alpha. That's this. Uh, that's that, that's my cyborg alpha is my web presence my virtual presence on the internet that eventually will become semi sentient I mean it will start operating at some point in time hopefully uh, I think maybe maybe three four years down the line I'm gonna be, get it get it working so it's operating by itself they can self crawl around it, it, it will be able to behave on the internet semi independent but keep me informed in other words I'll have a so, somewhat of a symbiotic link with uh, Cyborg Alpha at some point down the road. Right now, it's very, it's very basic. It's very minimal. Uh, it's starting to grow out into more of a virtual presence. Uh, the question is, how far I can push this? Is really the question is how far I can go with this. Right now, so I'm gonna. I have no, no. Uh, no restrictions on how far I can push in terms of my own thinking and how I'm limited. So I'm just simply going to follow it wherever it goes. In other words, this is another random exploratory approach to things where uh, I'm not taking a particular direction with this. I'm going to follow this, push it as far as I can go. There's a lot of playing involved. Uh, that's one of the things I like about this, about what I like about my job is that uh, even though you're doing cutting edge stuff, because so much is unknown, there's an enormous amount of playing involved in order to really understand things. And so my choice for the geek side of uh, my, my fun, well, because my work is my fun too, is I'd rather play with the kids than uh, do anything else. So, so um, um, my uptime and my downtime, I'm also learning. Also learning. I'm playing around and learning with with my playing as well. So, anyways, uh, you will be seeing me around uh, today on the internet. Um, you'll be seeing me more. Uh, I'm 
the uh, university side is being fixed up more and more and more. Uh, the uh, uh, space and API, uh, space API uh, channel, that's going to be fixed up. And then uh, I'll be working on, over the weekend, uh, the physics TV as well. And then Monday, we'll be back to, we, we will be back to the news and to uh, uh, the economics TV. So everything will be back online on, as of Monday. All right, uh, take it easy, have a good day, and I'll see you around YouTube. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.